Hey guys, what's up? As you could tell by the title and thumbnail, today I'm gonna to show you how I self-tan, but I'm using a product I have not used before. And guess what? I forgot to bring it here, so give me one second. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm not used to filming on Saturday. I don't know what day it is, but this is a new product that you can get at Walmart. You can get it on Amazon. It's called Soul by Jergens. Soul means sun and it's sunless tanning. I got it in medium. The nice thing is, is that it's a water mousse. So from what I've heard, it's derived from natural sugars. I've not, it's clear. So there's not going to be any transfer on your clothing or like on your sheets or anything. If you do it before you go to bed and they do recommend as with most self tanners that you exfoliate first. So I've already taken a shower and I used their very own Jergens color primer. I did get both of these items off of Amazon, so I will link them below. And this I've used before, I think years ago. It also is good for removing self tanner because after a while, if you don't keep it up, it gets a little patchy. So this would be good for both. I do recommend getting this. Like I said, everything will be linked below, but you're, I'm going to insert a before picture here. And I'm going to film a little bit of me putting it on. Basically, it's a mousse and you rub it into your skin. They do recommend that you buy their sunless tanning mitt. Your girl didn't do that, of course. Budget friendly rubber gloves that we probably all have um, based on the current pandemic. We've got a huge box of these and that's what I'm going to use, especially since I have these cute press on nails that came free in my Ipsy box and they're white. These would be orange by the time I'm done. So I'm going to put these on rub in the water mousse, wait a few hours, and then I'll come back and talk about it. And of course, I will show you an after pic. So let's get to it. All right, you guys, some things that I forgot to tell you before I started. Well, number one, put your hair up. What was I thinking? I had then to struggle to get one of the gloves off and put my hair up, but I eventually did that. And I want to tell you guys that this stuff has a pleasant scent as far as I'm concerned. It does have that little teeny tiny hint of that self-tanner smell. You cannot avoid that. And you know what? It's well worth it to stay out of the sun and it spreads super smoothly. I mean, you saw it come out onto my hand. It's a very light watery mousse, just like they said. Um, the smell was a little bit of coconut mixed with something fruity. And the one thing I like 
it's it's still a little tacky. I mean, this is seconds after I just applied it, but it is drying down pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna put my robe on. It is right before Easter, I have a carrot cake to make, and I'm gonna do that in my robe and bikini because, <laughs> you know, that's how I do. And I'm gonna come back and put some clothes on. I have not exercised today, so I need to take my walk. Probably gonna do it outside because, well, we'll see. And details you don't need to know, but um, I feel like I can right away go ahead and put my robe on and I'm not gonna transfer this onto anything. So that is really, really nice. Also, I wanted to mention that from the recommendation on the back of the bottle and my own experience with self tanners, I moisturize my hands, my knees, and my ankles and elbows. Those are typically dry, even with exfoliation, and I don't want extra self-tanner to stick to those parts. And here's a tip, do not shave your legs the day you're self-tanning. I did not shave mine in the past 24 hours, so I'll be all set. And the reason being is those little pin dot hair follicles are then gonna collect more of the self-tanner and you're gonna get very fine little polka dots on your legs. So don't shave your legs, I promise you'll be fine for one day. Take it from me, the Lebanese girl, and um, make sure you moisturize those dry parts. So I'm gonna go carry on with my day, and of course, we will be back. Hi, you guys, I am back. It has been one long day, busy, busy, busy all day long. Uh, it has been a total of about seven hours since I first applied the very first coat of this awesome soul by Jurgens. This is the water mousse. You saw me squirting it into my palm. It was amazing. I'm really used to a really thick um, cream, mineral cream that I was using. Oh, look at this. You can see me in the back. <laughs> oh God. Hold on, let me turn this. Whoops, wrong way. All right. We don't need the back of me in the video. That is funny. I might have to edit that right out of there. Anyway. <laughs> Um, this is Soul by Durgan's Water Mousse Sunless Tanner. I got it on Amazon. It was $19.95. Not a bad price. If you go in Ulta, they go all the way up to like $70. And I believe this one is awesome. You know why? It doesn't have a horrible stench. I am just now starting to smell a tiny, tiny bit, maybe like an hour ago I noticed, a really, really tiny, tiny bit of that sunless tanner smell, but nothing strong, nothing offensive, nothing that anyone asked. I know my husband is super sensitive to that smell and he has said, did you put self tanner on? You know, one of those. Didn't get any of that from anyone today. And I was around with quite a few family members today. So I recommend this, 1995, but I think the key to my success was this little guy, which is the color primer. And basically what it is, is an exfoliator, specifically for the body for when you self tan. So I think that this really, really helped me get a good, like clean slate. So I took a shower, exfoliated with this, came out of the shower, toweled off, completely dry, did not apply my usual body lotion or anything like that. And then I did take some body lotion to my hands, my feet, my ankles, my knees, and my elbows. And you could see it did a good job because a lot of times, I don't know if you've self-tanned before, you'll get those really dark, nasty elbows and ankles, and it's kind of the giveaway that you self-tanned. So, but anyway, my thoughts on this are, um, I did use the medium. So that's the color medium. The next one up is deep. Now I do have my own olive skin tone. Um, so I typically do pick the deep because I figure I can go a little more tan just based on the fact that I'm kind of naturally a little tan. Um, they did not have it in stock, so, and I think it's because people are going to be starting to go back on vacations and stuff. So I got the medium, and you want to know something? This color for this time of year in the climate that I'm in right now is perfect. So I'm in Buffalo. Uh, this bikini won't see the light of day for a few months. So it's basically for me to wear skirts comfortably or even lower shirts or tanks or whatever. And it gives me just a little bit of a healthy glow without that pasty white winter look that we all wanna get rid of. So $19.95 and the little guy was uh, $5.95, I believe. So $26, Amazon Prime. They do sell it at Walmart as well. 
Um, I don't believe it was in stock. I think that's why I went right over to Amazon. But yes, yeah, sold by Jergens in the medium. It's a water mousse. You saw that I barely used any. You could see the water line. So this will probably last me all summer. Now, had I bought the medium and I was really gonna go out and wear this bikini out, I probably would have done another application tonight before bed, which I thought about doing, but I don't know if I will have time. If I do have time, I'm not gonna do another video, but I'll do another application and I will insert a picture. So can't make any promises because I have filmed three videos this weekend and it's been a long one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you. I think $26 is very affordable for a product that really works. If you go back into my channel from when I first started, there is a sunless tanner video. There was a mineral tanner that I got from Amazon, which was also under $30. And I did really enjoy that. And that did uh, last me all summer as well. That did have a stronger odor than this. And I feel like I like this better because applying it was so simple being that it was that mousse. So I guess it's just your choice, but I really, really like this one. So far, so good. And again, that smell wasn't there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that bell for notifications so you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. I hope you all have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye everyone.